Hi. So I'm um, <clears throat> done a little bit of uh, automation for uh, my my learning management system. Um, what I have is I, I get assignments that um, <clears throat> I, I ask the students to submit them as zips. So then when I get them from the learning management system, I need to um, download them as um, as uh, a zip of a zip of zips. So um, this program that we'll be looking at together uh, unzips them all and uh, also compares each file to every other file in the zip to make sure that they uh, don't have the same ancestor. So I'm going to share my screen. And uh, I'm going to um, go into my learning management system. And uh, under um, assignments, could be Dropbox or it could be something else in um, your learning management system. This is this is Brightspace, as uh, we have a Econostoga. So this is um, uh, assignment my sandbox that I've made. Um, it's uh, fairly heavily heavily scaffolded um, test. And um, I, I just did it twice. So I didn't, um, I didn't try to be different, but um, there's, there's some minor differences in the, in the two times I did the same test. So we can look at that together. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, so I'm just gonna click on here. I'm gonna go submissions. And there's both my submissions. So I'm just gonna click up here just to um, highlight them both. And I click download. Now I got a zip of zips. So that's that's here in this um, icon here. So I don't need this anymore. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to my GitHub, and I'll I'll put a link for this. I th I think I can put a link in the description. I'll, I'll try to do that anyways. So it's GitHub dot com slash r hildred slash r analyze all right sorry about that <clears throat> so um i've just gone to my my repository um it's github.com slash r hildred slash r analyze um Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that code onto my machine. So I'm clicking the green easy button here. And then I'm clicking this um, copy icon here. Then what I'm going to do is on my machine, I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code, which happens to be here, but I can type it in the search bar too. Here in Visual Studio Code, I'm going to open a folder. <clears throat> I have all my code folders under the source. Right click, go to the new folder, and put a date today, November 27th. Um, our analyze demo take two, I think. <laughs> So select that folder. I said it seems to be take two-ish anyways. Now I'm gonna to go to this overflow icon, start a new terminal. Now I happen to be using git bash for my terminal. Um, you can change the terminal by pressing the F1 key and selecting um, the, the default profile. Um, on Mac OS, if you go to view, this command palette, it's the same, um, the same thing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, it doesn't matter which, which shell you use, um, I'm just using bash for convenience and because I use um, a Mac quite a bit too, so um, it's nice to have the same, um, commands that work on both shells. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do git clone 
then I'm going to paste. And I'm going to, um, I know it put extra characters on the end. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm going to put a dot. So I've got https github.com slash rhildred slash ranalyze.get space and a dot. Okay, so this gets the R Analyze program onto my computer. Now I'm going to go here, click this. I'm going to take the zip. And I'm also going to copy this to here, except it didn't work so well. You just try again. So what I did was I uh, clicked instead to um, open the folder. Now I think it'll work, yeah. Okay, so that's um, put the um, zip file into um, my VS code. It's the same folder as ranalyze.py. Um, it warns me because it's because the zip file is, is binary, so it can't open it in um, the editor of Visual Studio Code. But it's in the folder, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type Python ranalyze.py space and greater than results.txt. This is going to um, unzip this zip, and then it's going to compare every file in the zip to every other file in the zip. So there it is, it's done. There's um, the zip and there's um, my first attempt to test and there's my second attempt at the test. Yes, yeah, so they're in folders by themselves. Now, if I look at the results.txt, I see that I've got three files that are similar, um, but not identical. So uh, Q1, Q2, and Q3 are similar, but not identical. So I'm just going to um, get my focus in here, hold down the Alt press Z, just so that it wraps onto the same, um, onto the same pane. But I see here it's Q1, Q2, and Q3. So uh, this number sort of means um, the probability expresses a percentage of um, whether they had the same ancestor or not. We can think of it that way anyways. <clears throat> so uh, what we want to do then is we want to um, compare these files um, side by side so we can make our own judgment about uh, whether they're um, the same or not. So I'm going to do Q1 first. So I expand um, the first folder, right click over Q1, do select for compare. I expand the second folder, right click over q1.html and do compare with select. So here, um, the part that's just that's just black is um, exactly the same. And the text that's colored is um, is, is somewhat different, not not even that much different. So the the problem here was to um, I, I had two items with the same ID, so that's not cool in HTML. So um, the students needed to re recognize that I had two items with the same ID and fix it so they didn't have the same ID. So here I just deleted the second ID, just left it as a plain div with no ID, and here I changed it to be text to uh, here. So I looked at that. Um, I made the um, judgment that that's um, pretty much uh, what anybody would have done. So I, I don't think that uh, uh, there was any uh, skullduggery uh, there or anything. I think that uh, it's, uh, it was going to be like that. And, and this was a heavily scaffolded test. So um, there, there's going to be a fair amount of that sort of, um, that sort of, sort of thing.
So I don't think that there's um, too much that can be uh, that can be done about that. Um, <clears throat> there might be uh, ones where it's um, yeah, I don't know where where there there's a wrong answer that's um, that's the same. So I wouldn't expect to have that. So that that might be a sign that, that something's going wrong. So if they um, <clears throat> change them both to a, a class instead of an ID, that would um, achieve the not having the same ID, but it wouldn't display um, differently. So uh, that would be um, that would be a wrong answer. And if 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 two people did that, then I might uh, wonder about. Um, how they came to the same wrong answer. So anyways, that gives you a, 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 an idea. So um, <clears throat> that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Um, I did, I will just, so I'm gonna put this link in the, in the video, in the description of the video if I can. Um, the other thing that I wanna say is uh, I'm interested in hearing from you if you're using uh, if you're using it, um, just send me a, send me an issue. I don't I don't care if it's not an actual um, an actual issue, um, but like I um, as I as I said, I am inter interested in hearing from you, uh, whether you're at a Conestoga where I am or whether you're uh, whether you're somewhere else. I I did get um, the beginnings of this code from um, a colleague at another institution, so. Um, I feel like I have some um, paying, uh, paying forward to do maybe, or paying back to do uh, if uh, you're using this at another institution too. So please, please feel free to send me a, send me an issue if you've uh, got one, or if you've got a suggestion, or um, if you just want to ask about it. So uh, thanks. We'll um, maybe talk later. <laughs>